So hi everybody, I'm Andrew Moore from Andrew Moore Photography and I just wanted to do a very quick tutorial um, to help you select your photographs to send to me to go into your wedding album. Okay, so the first thing that's going to happen is you'll get an invitation from me to your gallery um, and you'll probably have already received this before and viewing your photographs um, but if this is the first time you've seen it, this is what you'll get and you'll see the link here and you simply click on this link and it will open up into your default browser. Now I already have it. this link here opened up in Google Chrome so look in here, I've got this lovely wedding the wedding that I shot last year um, absolutely beautiful home, cottage wedding as you can see from the detail shots there and we're going to use this to show you how to select the photographs. Now what I say is for most clients you're trying to select the five or the 700 photographs that I've sent to you, you're trying to get them down to 75 photographs. Now this is a, a figure that helps us get a, an average amount of about five per page in a, in a 15 spread and each spread is a double page, a 15 spread album. Now you can have more but each page that you have more or each spread obviously adds to the cost. This is no problem, you can just speak to me and it's certainly not a wild amount of money for each additional spread, um, but it's just so, you, so that you're aware. So if you've got 700 images or 500 images, then um, the first sweep that you do is trying to get them down to about 150 images. Some people do it straight away down to 75, but my recommendation would be go through and try and get them down to 150 or, or 200 images. And the way that we do this, obviously you can scroll through all your images there and, and select them. And to select them, you look up here, very obvious button for you, select photos. So once you go in, we're going to use these examples now. So I say, yes, I'd like that cottage there. I go along, I love the little wedding sign and the clock, that's lovely. Um, some nice flowers, absolutely um, beautiful flowers on the day. There's mum helping out, so we'll pop mum in. Yeah, so there's some photos that we've selected so far. Go up to the right hand side of the screen and you'll see add to favourites. Click on that button and it appears up here on the left hand side. A nice little explanation for you there. Selected photos have been added to my selection. Photos are automatically shared with the photographer. Click favourites to view the set. Up here you can now choose which um, selection set and you can make more and I'll show you in a moment um, to, to go into. So when I click that these are the photographs that I just selected. Again you can see straight away I can remove photos if needs be. Okay, so you can, you've got some other options there straight away. If we go back now to the gallery, if I say that was my first go, that's already been saved and it'll be within your login. So as you go through, you can say, okay, I want to add some more photographs there. Let's go back, hit select photos. I can tell you in the select photos, you've got this little button here on the left and the zoom button. And so we go through, um, say okay let's have these little seat signs because they'll look nice in a in a wedding wedding album um, some friends helping out there and of course what we've got there is the dog so we put that one in there head back up to the top right hand side of the screen hit add to favorites and now you can see there are 11 photographs and our new select our new selected photographs are now in the my selection set So if we go back, now say you've, you've done your first sweep and you've now got your 150 photographs and you've got to get them down to 75. You can go away, you can log off, you can uh, have a, you know, say I'll have a break and you can come back. And when you arrive back, sign in, your favourites will still be there up in the My Selection. So the way that I advise to do it then is to go into your selection and then you can, because you've got a much lower number, you can start to say, 
well, do you know what? My friend helping me here is it was wonderful on the day, but I can't have every image that I love in there. So um, what I'm going to do is remove this one. And as we're looking through, yeah, we'll say, Mum looks great there, but she won't thank me for put it, putting her in the album for forever and prosperity. So I will remove that one because there are much better ones of Mum to go in the album. So now I'm happy. I want all these photographs in the album. And this is effectively my 75 photographs. So from that point, what I can do is on the right hand side of the screen up here, you can see share photographs. Now actually this has already been saved and I can see it, but what you have to do is go up and hit share favorites. And here, share to photographer or share to friend. So an example why share to friend would be useful is if your other half is um, working away for instance, you can send this link and they can sit down and have a look and give you then some feedback and some advice and say, I don't like that one of me. Can we put that other one in where I look much cooler? Um, or whatever. Okay, so that's your choice there. You can send it to family and friends to get their viewpoint on, on the um, photos for the album. And then, of course, the other one is the shared photographer. Now here, you can name this. whatever you like, and put a little message to me there. What you might want to say there is, I absolutely love photo number whatever, um, and I want this one to make sure that that one of the two of us is nice and big in the album. I like the, the group shop where we're all under the tree, that's wonderful. Can you make sure that that one's really large in the, um, in the album? Um, another example might be, there's a sequence of shots with the kids on the swing. Can you make sure that they're in six little small images on one page. And then I can try to integrate that into the album design um, whilst I'm doing it. But you can of course put any message you like talking about the pictures, um, anything you like. And I always like some uh, complimentary comments, so please feel free to do that. Don't we all? And then of course just hit share. And then I will receive that selection, I'll receive a notification that you've done it, you're down to your 75 photographs um, and I can take those favourites and start to design your, your album. And then it's back to you as soon as and then when we're confirmed, off it goes to the printers. If you have, of course, any questions at all about the whole procedure, please don't hesitate. Just give me a call, send me an email and I will then answer you straight away. Thanks for your time and uh, yeah, speak to you soon. Bye.